You're kind of an old hand at this business. You guys have been around for years. You're one of the earliest companies in the space. You have grown, you have learned, you have adapted. So congratulations on making that list as well. I'm sure people are just asking you, what the heck is going on? What's your answer? Well, first of all, it's a real privilege to be in the top 10 of the list. Um, we appreciate the honor. I think, you know, what's going on in the market right now is a washout of risk and leverage across the entire global market system. You know, and certainly in crypto, we felt that very keenly, uh, particularly in the last few weeks. I think one of the things that I've been saying on CNBC actually for a really long time is that this is going to be a very long process of adoption and growth. And so when you're thinking about a crypto position, you need to average into it slowly and plan to hold it for quite some time because we're still in a really nascent period of building this whole financial system out. Yeah, is there going to be, I mean, we talk about the stock market turning in some sort of, you know, bottom signal, Peter, and who knows, I guess history will tell us. But from where you sit running this, this multi-billion dollar corporation, you know, is there something that you're looking for that's going to tell you, huh, that's the turn? Yeah, you know, when uh, we see more buyers and sellers. But, um, you know, small that's jokes it. aside, I think what you need to see is consolidation in both the market itself as well as companies serving the market. So, you know, what I would expect to happen over the next few weeks after we've seen this really dramatic pull down in the market is some of the risks yeah. start to, you know, be exposed throughout the ecosystem. So companies that haven't been managing their risk appropriately, trading firms that haven't been managing their risk appropriately, you know, the shutdown of funds, you know, it's gonna take a few weeks, if not months, to see the ripple out effect of a, you know, really brutal two or three weeks of crypto. The good news is, is I think there's never been yeah, more opportunity I, in the space. You know, people, I, I, all I read pretty much is history and because I like to know the future. I mean, history does repeat itself. And in the 1870s, and don't quote me on the numbers, Peter, there were probably a couple hundred railroads that went down to five or 10, 30 years later. There were probably a couple hundred radio companies in the 1920s, a couple hundred car companies. And they all whittled down to three or four big winners over time in every industry. I know as painful as it was for for Terra and those companies. Do we need that washout? Do we need some of these weaker players? I hate to say it, to go away, consolidation, the big get better and stronger, and the rest find something else to do. I know it sounds tough. Yeah, I mean, I really believe in the creative destruction process of capitalism. And I think you're seeing that play out in the market today. You know, what I will say about financial services, you usually end up with a lot more companies. You know, it's not like railroads or cars. There's a lot of valuable financial services companies in the traditional market today. So I think there will be more companies in the segment, but there are a lot of companies that, you know, we do in protocols and assets that we do need that process of creative destruction to come through the market and really make the market a lot stronger. Um, you know, as you said, I've been doing this a really long yeah. time and I've seen this play out, you know, these market cycles, this is going to be my fourth or fifth market cycle, depending on how you count it. And yeah. Every single time, it's been brutal pain on the way in, but it's led to a much stronger industry, a much more useful industry, and real fundamental growth over the you know two and three years that followed. Yeah. 